Welcome to another addition to the Firefighter's Kitchen. Today we're in beautiful Cocoa Beach, Florida, where Firefighter Paramedic Dusty Hendry is going to be cooking up a beautiful pork dish tonight. So stay tuned to the Firefighter's Kitchen because what's for dinner? Caribbean pork. Hello, this is the Firefighter's Kitchen. Today we are at Cocoa Beach, Florida. We're at Station 51 and we're here with uh, Dustin Hendry. Dustin, you've been with the department how many years now? Uh, I've been working for the city of Cocoa Beach just uh, about four and a half years now. Really? And I understand you, yep. just, you just finished up paramedic school. Yeah, just wrapping things up with paramedic school, so moving forward. Yeah, that's awesome. So yeah. tell me a little bit about your station. It's a fantastic super station, man. Well, thanks, Jerry. Yeah, we've got um, two stations in the city of Cocoa Beach. We have one on the north end that houses an engine and our backup engine. We staff three guys there. And then we have this station, which is about midtown in, uh, in downtown Cocoa Beach. And we have a tower truck here with two guys. We also have an engine with three guys and we house a county rescue as well. Rescue 61 is in house with us. And here we also have two um, John Deere Gators with jet skis. Yeah, I saw those things. That, was, that looks yeah, like a lot pretty high. sweet. Um, we can deploy those at any time uh, to assist the lifeguards and also if the lifeguards are not on duty we can go out and, um, and do water rescues as well. Most of the departments have been trained in water rescues and we do have some guys that are on a specialty team and they travel around for different uh, boat races and jet ski races. Yeah, I noticed we were out here this week and we saw you guys had like the national jet ski competition. You guys got like the Eastern Florida surfing uh, competition, Easter yep. seal, you got a lot of stuff going on yeah, here. Yeah, um, springtime's a big big time of the year. We have a lot of surf competitions in the city and they, um, they staff the beach with medical and we also have a jet ski. Sometimes it's in the water, sometimes we keep it, you know, just ready to go if we need it. Right on, right on. Man, that sounds pretty good. So, uh, so what's for dinner tonight? What you, what you cooking up? What's for dinner? Well, what we're cooking for dinner tonight is an island pork roast and we uh, kind of put a spin on it. It's got some jerk seasoning and then we serve it over uh, Johnny cake, which is a cornbread pancake with some pineapple salsa, rice and beans. So right on, it's right pretty on. good. Yeah, I can't wait. Now we've been yeah. having a lot of these We've been traveling around, and especially here in Brevard County, Florida, and a lot of guys are cooking pork. A lot of Caribbean flavor in this area. I thought it would be a lot of meatloaf or whatever. Yeah. You guys have like whipped out some good Caribbean food. Well, one of the cool things in the firehouse, uh, we always eat dinner together, and uh, any given night you can have from seven to 13, 14 people here if the chiefs hang over. But we try to keep it low cost, mm -hmm. so everybody can eat for five bucks or less and try to have a good amount of food so everybody gets full. And the pork is a lot cheaper than beef and chicken, so um, it's an easy easy dish to prepare. Um, goes a long way and fills everybody up at the end of the night for five bucks. Right on. Well, man, looking forward to getting into that kitchen. You guys got one sharp looking kitchen, so we're looking forward to going in there. All right, buddy, let's go check All it right, out. All right, let's go do it. All right, so today on the Firefighter's Kitchen, what's for dinner? Uh, here in Cocoa Beach, uh, it's a shift today, and we're gonna have an island pork roast for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the uh, the steps of how we make it. Um, went shopping this morning at uh, Publix Beachside and got everything to feed eight people for 40 bucks. So it's a pretty economical meal. And it's a favorite around here at the station. So we're gonna start out um, basic ingredients for the crock pot. We got our pork loins, an onion, and some jerk seasoning, uh, our marinade. So we'll slice up some onions and they're gonna go on the bottom of the crock pot just for the base and then we'll put the, uh, the pork on top of that. And one trick with the pork um, that I've learned is to cut it up a little bit smaller than leaving it whole. Um, it'll cook faster and because this is so lean, uh, it'll, it'll stay a little bit more juicy as well, so.
So that's good to go. We're going to leave that for about four hours. And then uh, next thing we're going to make is the um, pineapple salsa. It's a real simple pineapple salsa. Pineapples aren't in season right now, so I got tidbits uh, at Publix this morning in the can. So I got four of those. And then we're just going to add some other vegetables and cilantro to it. So we'll get started on that. Now, how many um, how many people do you have here at the station when you're on ship? We we normally have seven. We have a student with us today, so we're gonna have a total of eight, and uh, we charge everybody five bucks for dinner. Um, usually, if it's a little cheaper, uh, we'll just everybody throws in five bucks, and then we keep the rest in the kitty, so we can buy you know staple food like milk and eggs and and other things like that. So. All right, so it's been about four hours and uh, the pork is done cooking uh, in the crock pot. So I've taken it all out and letting it cool off a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and shred it. And I've kicked this back up to high. So I'm gonna let that sauce kind of thicken up a little bit. Once this is all shredded, it's gonna go back in the pot and, um, and just sit there and stew while we finish up the beans and the rice and stuff. So this process takes a little bit of time, but we just shred it up kind of bite size. Um, and then we're gonna, this is what we're gonna top our Johnny Cakes and stuff with. All right, so we're all shredded up here. We're just gonna put it back in the sauce, turn it down to low, and let it hang out until it's time to eat. I'm gonna make um, black beans kind of a traditional, um, a traditional way. I buy the ones in the, uh, that's already in the seasoned sauce. So you, um, they got really good flavor. You don't have to add a whole lot more to them. And then I just have my own little spin on it with, uh, with some onion. All right, so we're gonna get the Johnny Cake batter ready to go. And it's pretty simple, it's just um, as per the package. And it's written on the side, so the back of it tells you how to make cornbread, and the side tells you how to make uh, corn pancakes or waffles. What's up, buddy? I wasn't lying. Here's the chief. We can smell it upstairs. As I said, once I get that, once I get that garlic going, the chiefs are going to show up here. That's I'm right, boy. We gotta inspect this batter here. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you stay any with us? Yeah. There's the pork right there. Give me a little taste of it. I know you're going to stick around once it tastes out. Oh, yeah. 
All right, play it all. <laughs> you have to wear the glasses. I gotta see what I'm eating. <laughs> uh, uh, detail. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So what you got is your, your uh, Johnny Cakes on the bottom with some pork on it. And I put some beans on there because the rice isn't done yet. But And then it's got the uh, pineapple salsa. And uh, So you got the pork, the sauce on top, mm -hmm. and then you got the, the um, Johnny Cakes. On the bottom. And then I see yeah. you put a sauce on here. Tell me yeah, what Yeah, that's a cilantro ranch. It's basically just a, a bottle of ranch dressing with some cilantro. And you just grind it up and put it in, it in there. And this is like a sweet that, mustard? That's a curry mustard. Curry yep. mustard. And you put a little bit of that on both. Just a little bit, yep. Chief, let's check it out, man. All right. All right, this looks really good. I got to get some of this Johnny Cake in here, too. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna try this for breakfast. Okay, what are the rest of you guys eating? <laughs> I don't know, I'm not going anywhere now. I'm staying here. This is absolutely great, man. Mm. It's got like a sweet Caribbean taste. It's got that that uh, curry and that uh, and the um, salsa. I like the salsa too, you didn't put tomatoes in it. Pineapple in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Really good. These guys at Cocoa Beach Fire Department, man, they know how to cook, let me tell you. Dustin, great job, man. Thank you so much with the Firefighters Kitchen and contributing. You know, you're going to find out, and I'll let you know, people, women all over, they get back to our website and they actually cook these meals and they send us pictures of them. Oh, cool. So when they do, we'll do the same to you, and who knows, you know, maybe be famous one day. <laughs> thanks a lot for yeah. everything, guys. Thanks a lot for the hospitality, right. Chief. Good. Thanks for letting us have it here at the thanks, Firefighters Jerry. Kitchen. And y'all, we'll see you on the next episode of the Firefighters Kitchen. And we're done. Firefighter's Kitchen. Cheers!